Bonjourno, welcome to another video. In this video we've got half, which is Wii U games, half, which are PS4 games. So part one, we're going to be covering the Wii U games plus other extras. So let's get straight to it. We're going to go with some exclusives now for the Wii U. So there's quite a few exclusives. They don't bring them out very often, but this one's the Devil's Third. Now this, if you aren't aware of it, is the, it says on the back, the ultimate fusion of brawler and shooter. So it's a brawler shooter. It is an exclusive. It's made by Epic Games. It's somewhat a little bit different, but it's not meant to be a great game. But this is something that's not really that popular. So again, if you're a collector, this is one to pick up if you can get it cheap. Um, another one by Platinum Games, it's a quite an early release for the Wii U, the Wonderful 101, so they make some fantastic games. But this one is really good because there's lots of little superheroes, little characters in there, and they all unite to morph into various shapes to combat enemies and fight along the way. So there's co-op missions in there as well, and it just looks like a really fun game. If you've not played, it's definitely worth checking out, especially now you can get it quite cheap. Um, we've got some box stuff, so we've got another Platinum Games release. Now, the original Bayonetta was an absolute must for anyone. I had it on the 360 and, and actually on the PS3. But this is a double pack, so you've got Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. And Bayonetta 2 was only actually released on the Wii U. Um, it was meant to be a fantastic game, I've not played it as yet. I've played Bayonetta 1, but Bayonetta 2 I can't wait. And because it's a double pack, this is a really good one. It's, I got this quite cheap as well, so I'm really looking forward to sticking on Bayonetta 2. Another one I picked up was Lego City Undercover. This is another one by Telltale Games, and they make some really fun games. If you ever played any of the Lego games, they're always really fun, always very innovative, and you know you unlock different characters. But with this one, it's more of a, a, a city map, and you go across the map, you play as a cop, and you undertake various different missions, unlocking different characters. This was a limited edition with an actual Chase McCain minifigure inside. I didn't get the minifigure inside because I did buy it sort of second hand, but it's immaculate. The discs not scratched on it and for the price I paid for it I'd be a fool to pick that one up. Now we're going to go back in time a little bit because I've got some Nintendo GameCube games. Now this is the Namco Museum 50th Anniversary game and this has a collection of 14 classic arcade games. Funny enough I played these arcade games in the original cabinet in an arcade uh, in Western Supermare when I went to Dismaland and I played anything from sort of Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, you had Bosconian, which is a game I love. So on the list you've got Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Galaxian, Dig Dug, Rally X, Pole Position, Pole Position 2, uh, Xenvius, Dragon Spirit, uh, Bosconian, I love that game. Uh, Rolling Thunder, Mappy and Sky Kid. And this is a great little collection. I did pick this up very, very cheap. It's got everything in there, there's discs, perfect, it's got the manual as well, so I was really chuffed with that. And another one that I never played on the GameCube, although I did play it on the PS2, was Medal of Honor Frontline, and I got this for a pound, and because it's in such good condition, I had to pick that up for my collection. Again, not a scratch on it, really, really good little find there. And, you know, the GameCube games have gone up a lot in price now. You know, at the time that they sort of came out and people going on to sort of the Wii and moving on to other consoles, these games came down a lot in price. So now you can kind of see the difference. They are starting to, to rise in price. But again, you know, if you want a complete your collection, these are really cheap and you can find them cheap, even better. Another uh, PSP game, Peter Jackson's King Kong. This looks like a fun little game for 50p. Can he grumble? Moving on to the Wii U again, some more exclusive games. Now these are Nintendo property games. So we've got Kirby and the Dream Paintbrush. Now I love Kirby game, and with this game, it's kind of like a, a claymation style. So you use a stylus to run that across the actual game pad to create these rainbows, and Kirby rides on the rainbows defeating enemies and overcoming obstacles. And when I think of Kirby, I do think of Hal Labs. And I do think of Satoru Iwata, so this was his baby, um, and when he was alive, obviously this, this was released before he died, but um, pro yeah, it will be the last one under him, and uh, it's, a, it's a shame, but I'm looking forward to playing it. Another new release is Yoshi's Woolly World, and 
if you ever played the original Yoshi story on the N64, they're fun games, you know, they've, they've got a real style to them. And I went back and played the original one for the Nintendo 64 quite recently, and it's amazing how similar it is in style. I mean, obviously this is polished HD graphics and things like that, but the gameplay is pretty similar. And there are a few mechanics thrown in here, like you unravel unraveling parts of the map and finding different things. Um, plus you can use the amiibo, the Woolly Yoshi amiibo. I didn't get the Woolly um, Yoshi amiibo just because the packs are so expensive now. I, I for completely missed out on pre-ordering that and so I'm not prepared to pay ridiculous prices but hopefully I'll come across one, maybe a car boot or second and store. Another one is Hyrule Warriors. Now I love Legend of Zelda as do most collectors of Nintendo stuff and this combined lots of different things so it's kind of like the Destiny Warriors franchise combined with the Legend of Zelda and uh, there's, there's kind of large areas where you defeat masses of enemies so you've, you've got all the classic kind of characters from Legend of Zelda and a couple of new ones thrown in there as well. There's also an adventure mode which is based on the classic Legend of Zelda map. If you're a fan of Legend of Zelda you've got to have in your collection even though it's not an official uh, game as such in the series it's a bit more of a spin-off. Now next up we've got Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, they're classic kind of platform games, collecting bananas, um, the minecarts, and this one's a bit more of like a sort of set in the tropics, there's frozen elements to it, and it says that an adventure spanning six islands, new features, new moves, obviously you can use your amiibos to unlock different features, uh, as far as I'm aware, and uh, just, again, just a real classic throwback to good old Donkey Kong. So I hope you enjoyed this episode guys but please stay tuned for part two. In part two we've got some PS4 games plus loads of other extras but please remember to like and subscribe that allows me to keep on doing these and I'll see you in the next video.